Starship Booster 7 is ready to head back to the launch site, a pregnant dragon returns from space, back-to-back -back Starlink missions lift off, and we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin and this is SpaceX in the News. As the FAA continued to push back the results of the final PEA, road closures in Boca Chica have been getting sparse. In part because Ship 24 is still being stacked and so has yet to be rolled to the launch site for stress testing, and Booster 7 was undergoing repairs in the high bay. However, B7 is expected to relocate to the launch site for further testing today, and there is a possibility of seeing some of that testing beginning early next week. In the meantime, work continues around the ground support equipment surrounding the pad. Over the weekend, the water deluge system was tested for the very first time. Modifications are being made to the chopsticks and helium was delivered to the tank farm. Through the Freedom of Information Act, CNBC obtained documents from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service that falls under the work of the FAA's PEA and concerns SpaceX's plans to further expand their Starbase operations and test and launch Super Heavy boosters. However, a few weeks back I reported that the expansion plans were already sidelined by the Army Corps of Engineers because SpaceX stopped responding to their requests. But if SpaceX still wants to do any hefty lifting or testing with Super Heavy's 33 Raptor 2 engines in the middle of a wildlife refuge, Fish and Wildlife have compiled a list of terms and conditions that will need to be satisfied by the company. While it's quite a lengthy list and continuously repeats non-discretionary language like the word will in every bullet point, senior attorney with the Center for Biological Diversity, Jared Margolis, told CNBC, quote, it seems the FNWS is bending over backwards to figure out a way to permit more of what has been a very detrimental use of the Boca Chica site as far as impacts to wildlife go. And that too many of the agency's requests were just recommendations and not enforceable under the terms and conditions of the FAA's eventual permit. Elon said at this year's Starship update that if the PEA doesn't go their way, SpaceX will shift focus to launch Starship from the Cape, but that will set the program back several months. In the wee hours of Thursday morning, Crew 3 brought their nearly six month stay at the International Space Station to an end when they undocked their Dragon capsule and began their descent back to Earth. The astronauts re-entered the atmosphere almost 24 hours later, SpaceX tracking with their infrared camera, deployed a sequence of shoots and splashed down in the Gulf off the Florida coast. Last Friday, we went live for SpaceX's 44th Starlink launch, which successfully deployed 53 more satellites into the constellation orbiting Earth. And the used booster made a bullseye landing on the Just Read the Instructions drone ship for a sixth time. And SpaceX repeated that success with their latest Starlink mission just this morning, deploying another 53 Starlink SAS to low Earth orbit, and its used booster became the fourth Falcon 9 first stage to land for a 12th time, which is the current reuse record. The next SpaceX mission is, you guessed it, Starlink 46, scheduled to launch out of Vandenberg, California next week. In response to customer input, the company has added a portability feature to their Starlink service that allows users, for an additional monthly fee, the ability to temporarily move their terminal elsewhere in order to receive service at a different location than their original address. Users should expect lower service levels than fixed customers, especially in waitlisted areas. And to be clear, this does not provide users the ability to use their terminals on moving vehicles. Doing so will void your warranty. And now it's time for today's honorable mention. On May 2nd, Rocket Lab finally attempted to catch their first stage booster of their orbital class Electron rocket using a skyhook maneuver. The rocket lifted off from Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand for the rideshare mission titled There and Back Again, carrying 34 small sats to an orbit of 520 clicks. All were successfully deployed about an hour later. Upon stage separation, the booster, upgraded with heat-resistant shielding, re-entered the atmosphere and popped a drogue, then a ring sail parachute. In the end, they opted to not go with the Ram Air parafoil design. Then Rocket Lab's custom Sikorsky S92 moved to intercept and successfully captured the round canopy. However, less than an hour later, it was reported that the Choppa pilot had to ditch the dingleberry, allowing it to gently splash down in Earth's biggest fish toilet. Now, after the catch, the helicopter pilot noticed different load characteristics than we've experienced in testing, which of course you do expect when testing anything in the field for the first time. At his discretion, the pilot offloaded the stage for a successful splashdown, where it is being recovered by our vessel for transport back to our factory. CEO Peter Beck followed up with the media afterwards, saying they'll update their simulator to reflect the load accurately for what it actually is, and then do a bunch of tests. Shoot recoveries are hard, brah, because the only way to accurately test is just to do the damn thing for reals. And adding more variables to the equation, like a chopper, doesn't make it less complicated. 
And if you'd like to learn more about space shoots, check out my documentary featuring Peter and friends, link below in the description. Well, that's all I have for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to our locals community for supporting the show. And you too can support the channel by purchasing some eccentric merch from our store. I just dropped this new Weather Jolly Rocket design. We also have it in a blacked out mug, sandals, and also the military green nominal tees are available once again. And of course, we still have patches and polos available as well. Links to all are provided below. Have a nominal weekend. And until next time, Godspeed. <laughs>